I'm Noro Guliev, I'm Deputy General Manager of Sokar Marketing and Operations, and uh, I would like uh, to give you a brief overview of uh, trading activities of uh, Sokar. Uh, speaking about uh, trading, uh, this uh, resembled me one of the internal questions about uh, what came first, chicken or egg? And uh, I'm finding for myself uh, an answer. And the answer is that uh, uh, if there is no trading, uh, there is no production. Uh, so uh, I will try to uh, show uh, all the potential of trading of SOCAR, uh, what SOCAR does and uh, what SOCAR can do. Uh, the evolution of uh, SOCAR's trading activities. First, I would like to tell you about the uh, role of SOCAR marketing and operations. Uh, this is the integrated part of uh, SOCAR and uh, uh, one of our main functions is to arrange the supply of petroleum products, uh, crude oil and petrochemicals in the local market of Azerbaijan. Another important function is uh, to arrange export of SOCAR produced crude oil, petroleum products and petrochemicals to the international market. And uh, also uh, there is another important function, this is the coordination. Uh, ten years before uh, SOCAR uh, started to develop its uh, trading, trading activities, uh, previous speakers talked a lot about uh, so-called third-party trading. Uh, I would like, uh, I will give you soon uh, a little bit more details on this. So uh, one of the main uh, functions of SOCAR marketing and operations is to coordinate the activities of uh, trading offices and trading companies of SOCAR located in different parts of the world. Here's the map and uh, you can see uh, that uh, SOCAR has uh, a number of offices located in various countries. Uh, we have uh, our main trading uh, company located and established in uh, Geneva. And uh, SOCAR Trading SA, uh, this company is um, uh, doing trading all over the world and uh, has uh, counterparts in many in many countries. Uh, so the, the company was established in uh, 2008. Uh, in uh, other countries, we also also have uh, offices and companies, but uh, the, the activities uh, also are developing and expanding, but uh, are limited. Uh, to the areas uh, of their location. Uh, here is some uh, figures about uh, SOCAR's performance in 2018 in terms of export of crude oil, petroleum products and petrochemicals. So you can see in 2018, uh, Azerbaijan actually exported uh, 33 million tons of crude oil. Out of this, uh, 26 million tons uh, were exported by SOCAR. Uh, we have uh, export of 1 million tons of petroleum products to international markets uh, and also about 230,000 tons of petrochemicals. Uh, methanol is uh, uh, one of the quite new uh, products for SOCAR. Uh, we, are, we have been marketing it uh, for uh, almost three years. Last year we supplied 200,000 metric tons of methanol to international markets, but uh, the capacity of the plant is uh, twice as bigger, so potentially we can supply around uh, 450,000 metric tons. 
and uh, also uh, as I've as I've told uh, supply in the domestic market uh, 4 million tons of petroleum products were supplied to satisfy the needs of uh, the Azerbaijan Uh, these slides uh, show the export uh, geography of uh, Azerbaijan crude oil and uh, petroleum products. Sokar is supplying uh, crude oil, petroleum products and petrochemicals to more than 30 countries all over the world. And um, uh, it is uh, very important uh, for Sokar to diversify its export geography. The main asset, uh, trading asset for SOCAR is uh, uh, Azerilite crude oil and uh, we attach a great significance to uh, the development of the market uh, for Azerilite in order to achieve uh, the better and higher net back Uh, so this slide will show some uh, figures about third-party uh, trading. So you can see uh, in the uh, right-hand uh, side uh, bar, uh, Sokar traded uh, around 100 million ton of petroleum products and uh, uh, crude oil, and uh, only 23 million tons from this volume is uh, belongs to Azeri origin crude oil and uh, other volumes come from the trading uh, in different countries as uh, Farid uh, told uh, only 30% uh, of trading by Sokar uh, relates to Azeri origin products and crude oil and 70% is done by uh, third-party trading. Uh, this slide shows uh, our partners, but uh, of course uh, the number of partners is uh, much bigger. We uh, we do we do business with uh, almost all the major companies and uh, all the big uh, trading companies. I skip three slides. So this is uh, this is pie sh showing uh, the uh, export geography of petrochemical products. Uh, you see that 25% uh, of our petrochemicals exported to Netherlands, 13% to Belgium, 16% uh, to Russia, uh, China, 13%. Uh, Turkey is uh, one of our main markets uh, accounts for 21 percent and uh, the rest of 12 percent uh, are going to other countries. At the moment uh, Sokar is exporting petrochemicals uh, from uh, the Azerkimia plant and uh, the export capacity is around uh, 100,000 tons of uh, LDPE per year. Uh, another important product is uh, butan butadien fraction, uh, which is uh, 30,000 tons per year, and pi gas, 80,000 tons per year. Uh, with the uh, Sokar polymer uh, plant, uh, we will significantly increase our trading opportunities, and as you see, uh, the plant uh, Export capacity is 120,000 metric tons per year of polypropylene and uh, 100,000 tons of HDP. Uh, so, uh, two or more plants. Uh, one is methanol. As I've said, uh, the capacity is 450,000 metric tons. And uh, the newly launched uh, urea plant, uh, with the capacity of 450,000 tons of per year, actually this is the export capacity because 
the uh, plum, the plant uh, full capacity is 600,000 metric tons, but we're planning that uh, around uh, 100, 150,000 metric tons of the urea will be consumed in the local market of Azerbaijan. Uh, 450,000 uh, metric tons uh, will be exported to international markets and uh, our main market uh, that we are considering now is um, the Turkey because um, we see uh, very big demand uh, in this country. Uh, last year this uh, number was, uh, consumption was 2.6 million tons of uh, urea so uh, we are quite confident that we will find our niche in the Turkish market. But of course, uh, this, this will not be the, uh, the single market where we are planning to export the urea. Uh, there are some other considerations and some other markets and uh, we are now cons we are holding, holding uh, discussions with the potential consumers. Uh, this slide uh, show uh, the uh, transportation and logistics structure of uh, LDPE from uh, Azerkimia plant in Sumgait. Actually, uh, there are uh, three options how we can deliver our petrochemicals to international market. Uh, one is uh, via trucks, and we use uh, trucks uh, quite extensively to deliver uh, LDP to Turkish market. Uh, uh, another method is uh, to transport our petrochemicals uh, through Poti, Black Sea port. So the product delivered to Poti via trucks and then transshipped to tankers uh, by which we del were delivering petrochemicals to Chinese market or European market. And uh, also we use uh, trucks uh, for the delivery uh, of LDP uh, to CIS countries and uh, Europe as well. And uh, the third uh, road uh, which I spoke is baku Bilisi cars uh, railway and uh, uh, this uh, railway was launched quite recently, so we're uh, starting to uh, use the uh, capabilities of this road because uh, it allows us to deliver our product without any uh, transshipment to uh, Turkish market. So we don't need to go to uh, Poti to transship from trucks into the ships, but uh, deliver directly to, uh, to the Turkish market. So this is the transportation schemes for HDPE. They are quite similar for the uh, LDPE. Uh, so this is how we are going to uh, transport uh, the urea. Again, uh, we're going to use uh, trucks to deliver via trucks to Poti, then to make transshipment to Turkish market. And um, also we can use the uh, Bakut Belisi uh, cars uh, railway to deliver directly to Turkish market our urea. For CIA, we can use uh, trucks and rail cars and uh, uh, for the delivery to Europe and China, uh, we can, uh, again, we were using uh, Poti as a transshipment point and then uh, use tankers uh, to deliver uh, these tankers to one of the European ports or to one of the Chinese ports. In, so these maps uh, are showing the potential and the existing transportation uh, routes to Turkish market. One of the uh, routes which I didn't mention is the delivery by, uh, by uh, river tankers through Valgadon channel. So we can ship uh, 
via Caspian to Volgadon River, to, Vol to Volga River, and then through Volgadon Channel to, uh, to the Black Sea, and uh, then further to Turkish parts. As you know, Sokar uh, is uh, a shareholder in uh, Turkish uh, Petkim petrochemical plant, and uh, uh, here uh, Petkim has a very uh, extensive network of uh, warehouses. Uh, the company possesses one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest container port in Turkey. Uh, it is located in Ali Aga and uh, the capacity is 1.0 million ton of uh, 20 foot equivalent unit and the handling capacity is uh, 4 million uh, TU per year. Uh, also uh, in Turkey the Petkim has uh, a lot of uh, warehouses in uh, different places uh, of the country uh, which makes the distribution of uh, petrochemicals uh, very easy and uh, very flexible. Well, uh, actually, uh, that's it, what I wanted to tell you briefly about the trading activities, about the logistics opportunities. If you may have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. Thank you.